sorry if it's bad quality. I just wanted to film this real quick. I had my first run-in with a PetSmart employee that was giving me bad information and didn't seem to know what he was talking about. I have never in my life had a run-in with a PetSmart employee like that or any kind of pet store employee like that. And now I have. So I kind of felt like I had to document it. Like this is a big step in my reptile keeping career. Like I finally experienced what everyone's been talking about. So I had to document it. So I'm going to tell you guys what happened. So I'm on my way home, stopping at PetSmart to look for a thermostat for a heat mat. And I've never seen them with Pet Supplies Plus and PetSmart right by me. I've never seen them at either location. I knew for a fact they weren't at Pet Supplies Plus. I was there the other day. So I was like, you know what? I'm already out. I'm going to stop at PetSmart. Maybe they have some now. Maybe. So I go in, and sure enough, I don't see any. But I thought, better safe than sorry. Let me ask an employee. So I see this guy, and I ask him, like, hey, do you have thermostats, you know, for reptiles? Oh yeah, yeah, we've got them. Something great. I just missed them, or he's got them hidden, something. Takes me over to the reptile aisle, shows me all of these thermometers, and goes, here you go, they're right here. And I'm like, oh, you know, miscommunication, it's okay. Sir, I'm looking for a thermostat. Do you guys have thermostats? Thermostat, not thermometer, thermostat. And he's like, thermometers right here no you know it controls the heat you know for like a heat mat controls the heat and he's like what does it look like and I'm like well the one I would expect you guys to have I think is Zoomed I think that's the brand and it's like a little black kind of squarish box it has a dial with the temperatures and you set the temperature and then you have the probe that goes into the tank to sense the heat and then it controls the temperature you plug the heat mat into it and he goes oh it's this little thing with the temperature and the probe so I'm thinking he knows what I'm talking about I'm like yeah ma'am that's a thermometer that doesn't control your heat that just tells you the temperature that's what a thermometer does oh sweet Jesus realized he was talking about those little some like sometimes they're yellow sometimes they're black little electronic thermometers that come with the probe. No, no, no. Like, I know what you're talking about. That's not it. This is a thermostat. It has a dial. You set the temperature you want. It controls the heat. And he goes, Oh, I thought you were talking about a thermometer. He's like, Oh, yeah, no, no. We don't, we don't have any of those. I don't think I've ever seen those come through. So I'm thinking, Okay, that's all I needed. And I took the opportunity, and I was like, oh yeah, you know, I didn't think so, I've never really seen them here, but I thought I would check because, you know, usually when you use a heat mat, you want to use a thermostat to control the heat. So I figured, since you sold heat mats, maybe you'd have thermostats to go with them, so I figured I'd come in and check. And he goes, oh, what's it for? And clearly, like, he didn't seem that knowledgeable, so I was just like, oh, it's for a snake. And he's like, what kind of snake? So I told him what kind. He goes, oh, you know, they don't really need much in the way of heat. I wouldn't worry about thermostat to control it. You know, they've got their gradient, they've got their highs, they've got their lows. They just need to be in this range. So just put the heat mat on, make sure you have thermometers so you know what the temperature is, and you'll be good to go. I had my friend there with me. She said, the moment he said that like I didn't need a thermostat, that they didn't need that high of temperatures, that you know I'd be fine just slapping some thermometers, they have their gradient, they just have to be in the gradient. Apparently I inhaled so deep she thought I was gonna blow She had to leave the aisle because she was trying not to laugh. When we left, she said she had no clue how I kept myself together. She could tell 
watching my body language, watching my face, she could tell that I I wasn't even listening to this guy anymore. I didn't want to hear anything he had to say. It was a complete waste of time. I was like, shh. So he's going off, yada yada yada, saying that don't need thermostat, they don't need temperatures that high. Well, if you knew about heat mats, you would know I need a thermostat so the temperature doesn't get that high, otherwise it will get that high. That's why you use a thermostat with the heat mats. So I was just like, okay, thank you, goodbye. It was a painful five minutes. It was probably only five minutes. It felt so much longer than that. Could you imagine if someone was buying a snake that needed lower temperatures and he just sent them off with a heat mat, no thermostat, saying that you don't need one, you'll be fine? Like, they would have a toasted snake. Extra toasty. Maybe slightly burnt. So, I was just, I was mind blown. Like, I have finally joined the club. I have never had a bad experience with any kind of pet store employee ever. Everyone I've ever talked to has experience with the animals of their own. They know what they're talking about. So I was like, you know, I haven't really had a problem yet. Until today. And I don't know, I feel like I should, like, be a part of some club now. Like, I finally experienced what everyone's been talking about. Like, he was a stereotypical pet store employee that gives wrong information and pretends to know about stuff that he doesn't know about. I, ugh, I was fuming. I was so angry. I was so annoyed. Okay, well that's enough of me ranting. It's like 8 o'clock. It's 8.30. And I forgot my laundry is done. It was done about half an hour ago. So I'm gonna go take care of that. We'll see you in the next video. Have a great night. Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. See you guys next time.